morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, November 4th, 2013. If you're listening on the radio and want to watch, please go to www.cadex.com. Authorities in Switzerland this morning said that uh, two independent probes have concluded that there was no, quote, undue pressure on the financial chief of Zurich Insurance Group when he committed suicide back in August. The suicide, of course, rocked the Swiss business world as well as the insurance world. Two parallel investigations had been launched by the Swiss financial regulator, one to determine whether there was any excessive pressure on Pierre Wauthier, and the other uh, to determine whether or not there had been any irregularities in the group's financial reporting. Investigations found both the instances to be unfounded. The 53-year-old committed suicide in his home you know, on August 26th. Apparently, a note had been left for his wife indicating that he had had uh, clashes with the uh, chairman, Joseph Ackerman. Ackerman resigned three days later. There was uh, speculation that the suicide uh, apparently had been uh, resulting from some sort of pressure to change the books, but that was found to be uh, not true. S Zurich issued a statement saying they remain deeply saddened by the loss of Mr. Wauthier and are unable to explain the motivation behind his tragic decision. Meanwhile, the uh, storm total for the St. Jude storm continues to increase. We reported last week that Credit Suisse was saying it might be as high as $1.8 billion. Uh, Willis has come in saying that it may in fact be that high. Uh, losses uh, to the industry from the UK alone could be as high as 590 million euros. Uh, German losses might be expected to be uh, up to 400 million euros and Denmark could reach 325 million euros. So all told now this number is creeping up. There was a plane crash uh, yesterday in Bolivia in the northern part of the country. A uh, turboprop jet plane operated by a local airline, Aerocon, uh, crashed in the northern part of the country when it was trying to land in the midst of a rainstorm. Uh, it crashed uh, in the town of Riberalta near the Brazilian border. Apparently, uh, at least 10 people are known to be dead at this time. The president of Bolivia, Evo Morales, has ordered a deep investigation into the accident. Uh, here's an interesting story. The most hurricane-prone state in the country, Florida, is seeing signs that their homeowners' insurance premiums are actually going down. This is as a result, of course, of the decrease in reinsurance premium costs. Starting in July, insurance companies have now filed at least nine requests for rate decreases, four of which have already been approved. Um, there have been a number of rate increase requests, about 20 of them actually, but the decreases are a positive sign. For example, Security First Insurance filed a rate decrease affecting more than 100,000 policyholders. Uh, there was a letter written by the Chief Financial Officer of Florida to uh, uh, Insurance Commissioner McCarty uh, saying now that reinsurance prices are coming down, how come homeowners prices are not coming down? And McCarty was already on it and indicated that they're already conducting an analysis. It's a little hard to believe that uh, in this day and age with the exposure in Florida that in fact homeowners premiums are coming down, but they are. Meanwhile, Berkshire Hathaway reported uh, that their underwriting profits have dropped more than 50% in the third quarter from $392 million to $170 million, reflecting higher catastrophe claims. Their subsidiary, uh, Gen Re alone, took a $400 million hit uh, from the European uh, hailstorms and floods uh, earlier this year. Hiscox, meanwhile, said that its premiums have risen 10% in the first nine months of 2013, as strong growth at its insurance operations have outweighed a downturn at its reinsurance arm. They also said that they expect to deploy more than $250 million of capital through a number of collateralized reinsurance funds in January of 2014. They said that they put up $50 million of their own money and the remaining $200 million or more coming from third-party investors has already been committed. Ryan Specialty Group has purchased uh, the U.S. wholesale broker Westrope. Westrope is the seventh largest wholesale broker in the U.S. Um, the company is uh, estimated to have uh, premium volume of about $600 million a year. 
The Thai floods of 2011 are still affecting the industry. Insurers paid out a further $49 million to Sony Corporation in claims during the second quarter of 2013. This is according to figures that just came out. There were two quakes of some magnitude over the weekend. There was a 5.0 uh, that shook uh, Japan. Shaking was felt in Tokyo, Chiba, and other prefectures, but no tsunami alert was issued. It was a very deep quake, apparently. It struck yesterday afternoon at about 2.25 p.m. And there was also a magnitude 6.0 quake in the southern parts of the Philippines in Mindano. Uh, it was felt at an intensity three level in Davao City. Intensity three means people in their homes or buildings will feel the shaking and hanging objects can be seen swinging but people outside may not feel the movement. And it's a, another fireworks factory explosion in China. The factory was leveled. At least 17 people have been killed. This was in the southern city of Senshi. Uh, two businessmen who uh, managed the factory have already been arrested and presumably will be charged with some form of negligence. China's fireworks industry suffers from lax controls, and of course there have been a number of increasingly frequent deadly incidents all the time. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Happy Monday. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.